A blessed day to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning to all of you. Our gospel for today, we try to reflect on how do we receive the Word of God. Paano nga ba natin tinatanggap ang salita ng Diyos sa ating buhay? Jesus in our gospel for today speaks of the parable of the sower. The Word of God is sown in different different kinds of soil, representing different kinds of recipient of the Word of God. For sure, ilang beses na nating narinig itong parable na ito at napagnilayan sa ating buhay. But it is also, let us again remind ourselves how good are we at listening, especially to the Word of God. Are we good hearers of the Word of God? And as we listen and reflect the Word of God, can we see that it is growing and bearing fruit in our life? My dear sisters and brothers, Jesus reminds us again in this parable that God is ever ready to speak to us, to each one of us, and to give us understanding of His Word. God is the sower who keeps sowing freely and generously His Word to us. God's Word is consistently at work in us, planting good seed in our life. But the question, and even the problem is, how do we receive the message or the Word of God in our life? God is there giving us His blessing. God is there always speaking to us His message. But are we listening and accepting His Word in our life? And if we listen and accept it, are we growing as Christians, as children of God, bearing fruit in our daily life? In our gospel, some seeds, sabi dito sa ating gospel, fell in the rocky ground. Obviously, pag nahulog sa matigas na lupa, mabatong lupa, it cannot grow because it is not deep. It cannot penetrate the soil or the water cannot penetrate the soil for the seed to be moist or watered. Meaning, if we listen to the Word of God, but it, it, we listen to the Word of God and it just passes, dumadaan lang sa ating buhay. It does not sink in our hearts and minds and more so in our actions. We just neglect it because we think it is not important. We think that the Word of God is not necessary in our life, especially if our life is okay. Or we reject the Word of God because it does not fit our lifestyle or way of thinking. Pag yung salita ng Diyos binabagabag ang ating konsensya or pinapakialaman ang ating buhay, minsan napakatigas ng ating puso at sasabihin natin, hindi ako makikinig. We try to reflect how many times we neglect the Word of God because of the hardness of our hearts. Ilang beses natin hindi natin tinanggap ang salita ng Diyos sa ating buhay dahil sa katigasan ng ating puso. There are also times that the Word of God is being choked by the thorns in our life. Such as preoccupation with other things that can distract us from what is truly important and worthwhile. We let our hearts and minds be consumed with material things, worldly things, that can easily weigh down and draw us away to the core of God's message, resulting from not bearing fruit. Maraming beses sa ating buhay na maraming kaagaw ang salita ng Diyos Maraming balakid at humaharang sa salita ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Gaya ng ating mga priorities. Ano yung pinapahalagaan natin sa ating buhay? Minsan, we take for granted ang salita ng Diyos dahil iba yung priorities natin. Or yung kaagaw ng Diyos ay ang mga material na bagay sa ating buhay. Or ang ating power, prestige, position. Minsan mahirap marinig ang salita ng Diyos, ang mensahe ng Diyos, because marami itong kaagaw sa ating buhay. 
maybe in this time of pandemic, sa ating pinagdaraan ng pandemya, we try to cut or remove all the blocks nakakasagabal sa pagtanggap natin sa salita ng Diyos or sa ating relationship with God. The pandemic changes our life, our perspective in life. Binago ng pandemya ang pananaw natin sa buhay and even ang ating pananampalataya. At sana with that realization, my dear brothers and sisters, we can already remove everything that blocks the message of God to enter into our life, to enter or to remove everything that is our, not necessary, the thorns in our life that hinders us from our relationship with God. Sa ating mga re realization sa pandemyang ito, sana tanggalin natin ang lahat ng mga balakid, ang mga kakompetensya ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Pinapaalalahanan tayo sa ating mga pinagdaraanan natin ngayon kung ano nga bang importante sa ating buhay o kung gaano ba kalalim ang ating relasyon sa Diyos. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, even our hearts are hardened, pusong bato, or sometimes our life are have a lot of thorns, or sometimes the devil always comes in in our life. The good news of our gospel today is that even there are many things that block or hinder the Word of God. God is our persistent sower. God is our consistent sower. God is our generous sower. If you, if you realize the attitude of the sower in the parable, the first question that will come out in your mind is that, does the sower really knows how to plant? Marunong ba talagang magtanim itong sower na ito? Bakit, sinab bakit ikinalat na lang yung mga binhi sa iba-ibang lupa? The attitude of the sower reminds us of the attitude of our God who is not tired of sowing seeds, good seeds in us. Even alam niya it will fall in different kinds of soil but hoping and believing that someday His message will fall in a good soil where it grow and bears abundantly. Alam ng Diyos, minsan hindi natin siya pinapakinggan. Alam ng Diyos ang katigasan ng ating puso. But God never gives up, give up to us. He keep on sowing good seed in us. He keep on pouring blessings on us because He's a God who is a consistent sower, persistent sower, and a generous sower hoping that someday alam niya magbubunga din ito at lalago sa ating buhay. Alam ng Diyos na darating din ang panahon na magbubunga sa puso ng tao ang kanyang salita. Magbubunga din ang binhi na itinanim sa ating puso. That's why our sower, our God, will never give up on us. He keeps on sowing freely and generously his blessings and goodness in our hearts. He wants, he, he waits patiently and sows perseveringly. God is not tired in sowing His word, His message, His blessings in us. God is so consistent in loving us, forgiving us, and accepting us. Even many times we receive Him with a stony heart. God remains in us even if we have if we block His message with the many thorns in our life, and even if we take for granted His blessings because our faith is shallow, God is still generous to us. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to celebrate this Eucharist, we pray, especially with all the realizations and experiences we have in this time of pandemic, that our hearts will be open to the work of the sower, the work of God in our life, and submit with full trust and obedience to the will of God in us. We pray that we may always allow God's message to penetrate in our hearts so that we can bear much fruit and we can be fruitful in our relationship with God. The fruit 
that will lead us to peace and joy in our life, serenity and calmness, because we know God is always with us and His fruit will always remain in us. In Luke 8 verse 15, it says, Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. We pray that we may persevere even there are a lot of temptations, a lot of struggles and trials we are experiencing. Persevere that God's word may penetrate in our heart and that we may bear fruit abundantly. Amen.